Peace, y'all. Coming to you. Yeah, you from my backyard. I want to talk to you. I have a question for you. What weird things did you do when you was a little child that your parents were like, or maybe people at school were like, or some of the things that, you know, you really love to do, you know, as a child? Because I feel like a lot of people may lose themselves on trying to find themselves, you know, and they fit into all these niches and all these cliches. They go from one box of being um, an 85 percent to now they're woke and they're in a whole nother box. And it's like, is that authentically you? Because you can lead yourself into um, a depression because you're just trying to fit in. Yes, there's healing in that, but where is the balance within you? Who are you? Who were you before anybody else told you who you were, what to like, what not to like, what was weird, you know? Who were, like, what were the things that you loved to do when you was a child that you don't do anymore? Where did those passions go? And I'm really talking to you because it's the shadow work that needs to be done, especially in these winter months that it will call, that will aid in a lot of healing and have you having the most successful relationships, friendships, and just being happy, regardless of what success you may have monetarily or not. This is a very important truth that I really want you guys to look into. Because I remember when I was shown in the conscious community when no, not a lot of people were wearing makeup and protective styles. Like to me, it's really sad because so many people are losing their authentic self, trying to be like what they think they ought to be. And life is not really about finding yourself, but creating yourself and healing those parts of yourself um, that were hurt because of public opinion. Or maybe you thought something was wrong with you, or maybe you thought, you know, you had to change to suit somebody else. And a lot of people are losing their authenticity. It's so many clicks. It's so like, where is the individuality in any of this? You know, you're afraid of being judged, you know, by who? You know, because the only person you got to worry about judging you is you. You know, it's so many people that will, they'll eat, um, say they're vegan and then eat meat behind clothes. Or it's just, it doesn't matter. Just be your authentic self. You know, like I said, I remember being on Facebook when there was only like maybe 10 of us females that was real popular in the U.S., period. You know, and... We were wearing our makeup. We was doing whatever we wanted to do. We dressed how we wanted to dress because regardless of if you wear this today and that tomorrow, you still the same person. You still got to go to bed next to yourself. You got to still look in the mirror and you got to be your authentic self because you got, if you ain't keeping it real with yourself, you're not going to keep it real with none of your people that you're dating, none of your friends, you know, you're allowing people to see certain aspects of you, which is cool and fine, but you need to start over and really get in touch with what you used to do, what you used to love to do and figure out why you stopped doing it, you know? It's healing to take place. It's like everybody now is a guru. Everybody now is woke. Listen, it's the Aquarian age. So everybody right now is straight up see-through. Everybody can see you. They can see straight through your BS and whatever else. So the best thing to do is just be authentic self, you know? Like, if you curse, you curse. If you drink, you drink. If you uh, eat meat, you eat meat. If you like listening to that music or whatever, just... If you're, who did, how, what made you weird? Okay. What did you love to do? What made you smile when you retreated to yourself as a child? What was that? Tap back into that. Meditate on that, you know, and start really doing that work of just really, and the way to do it, spend more alone time. A lot of alone time. That's why a lot of people went into depression during COVID. I mean, yes, you need social interaction, but a lot of people was afraid of being alone. It didn't bother me. I'm alone often, you know, but you really need to spend a long time. Them daily meditations, that really matters. Those really matter. Shadow work, that really matters. Because I need you to be authentic self. Because again, people can see straight through you. And real does recognize real. So just keep it real with yourself. Heal thyself. You know, a lot, a lot of things will come through detoxing too. You know, you'll face your shadow self. And uh, just keep it real. That's all I got to say. Okay. I love you. By the way, I am contacting you from my garden. It is so gorgeous out here. And I'm so happy that some, while I was in Miami, some things did survive this brutal switch of brew of weather that happens in Houston, Texas. I mean, because it got freezing cold. So I'm excited that everything still is as it should be. Uh, getting ready to grill this evening. I look forward to going to see some Christmas lights soon. So I don't know who's into that, but the zoo, uh, maybe, you know, 
that has like amazing Christmas lights out there and even fake snow. So I'm definitely taking my daughter with some Bella. But anyways, another way just to connect is connect to your truest self is to be in nature, like meditate out here, you know, center yourself. I mean, do all the things that bring you closer to you and you will not regret it. Okay. Saying it with love. Saying it because I love you. <laughs> all right. At least I'll be in silly. I'll talk with you soon. I got to get everything ready for the grill.